7 Days to Die, the 10 Best Weapons Players must establish a base, try their best to fortify it, and then brace for the impending onslaught of zombies. In games such as this, using the best weapons is not only the best way to stay alive it's also the best way to have the most fun. Number 10. Dynamite. Entity Damage, 550. Block Damage, 3000. Also called TNT, this weapon is too useful to not include it on this list. This weapon is great for clearing a group of zombies quickly. There are two caveats though. First, as an explosive it's loud. In other words, this will probably wake up some nearby zombies. Second, the other thrown explosives are almost as effective at killing a group of zombies. This weapon has been included for how it can be used outside of combat. Among all the weapons in the game Dynamite is the best for clearing away blocks whether it's for mining or to make an impromptu escape through a wall. Number 9. Baseball Bat. Range, 2.4. Entity Damage, 17.4. Attacks per minute, 52. There are numerous melee weapons in 7 Days to Die, but one of the best is the Baseball Bat. When playing this game there will inevitably be times when you run out of ammunition, and times when players don't want to make too much noise. The baseball bat provides a great balance between damage and attack speed. For players wanting to go full Negan, a barbed wire mod is available though, there are better mods. The best thing about using a baseball bat is that it doesn't require ammunition, and it's a lot quieter than a firearm. Number 8. Pump Shotgun. Range, 5-9-2, depending on ammunition. Entity damage, 112-96-96. Attacks per minute, 60. Magazine size, 8. When the zombies are breaking down your barriers, and have you cornered the pump shotgun should be a player's go-to weapon. Since it's a shotgun, it doesn't have the best range. This drawback is forgivable considering the amount of damage this weapon can deliver to the targets. The pump shotgun had a huge selection of available mods. Players will want to get the tube extender to increase the amount of ammunition it can hold. The duckbill mod is another must-try mod that sends the shot out as a horizontal line, rather than a circular spread. This allows for simultaneous headshots to multiple targets. Number 7. Tactical Assault Rifle. Range, 50. Entity damage, 41-41-56, depending on ammunition. Attacks per minute, 405. Magazine size, 30. The best way to stay alive in 7 days to die is to kill the zombies before they surround you. Shotguns are great, but if a player misses their mark a few times they can suddenly find themselves in the untenable position of being attacked from all sides. Sometimes nothing compares to a high rate of fire and a large magazine. Number 6. Sniper Rifle. Range, 70. Entity Damage, 64-64-79, depending on ammunition. Attacks per minute, 140. Magazine Size, 12. Running around with a baseball bat or steel sledgehammer can be fun, however, if players want to stay alive they should seek to eliminate zombies from as far away as possible. The sniper rifle has excellent range only the hunting rifle and rocket launcher are a match when it comes to range. Using this weapon a player can safely dispatch zombies from so far away they will never have to worry about taking any damage. The only drawback is that if enemies get too close this weapon becomes impractical. Number 5. Compound Crossbow. Range, 25. Entity Damage, 32-38-45-125, depending on ammunition. Attacks per minute, 75. Magazine Size, 1. Being sneaky is a great way to stay alive in 7 days to die. This can be difficult since most of the best weapons in the game make a lot of noise when used. The compound crossbow gives players the range and damage of a firearm, but with the silence of a melee weapon. Let's be honest, there will be a lot of players that will pick this weapon and pretend they're Daryl Dixon. Those players will quickly find the compound crossbow is a great weapon. 
Other than the rocket launcher and grenade-like weapons, the exploding crossbow bolt ammunition does more damage than any other ranged weapon. Number 4. SMG-5. Range, 30. Entity damage, 32-32-41, depending on ammunition. Attacks per minute, 480. Magazine size, 30. The SMG-5 is an awesome weapon in 7 days to die. It takes pistol ammunition, 9mm, which is easier to find and cheaper to craft. This weapon also has a large enough magazine that players won't find themselves constantly reloading. The SMG-5 doesn't do much damage when compared to the other firearms in the game this isn't that much of a negative due to the SMG-5 having the fastest rate of fire in the game. By improving the gunslinger skill, players can make this gunfire even faster. In narrow hallways, this weapon is just as devastating as a shotgun. Number 3. Desert Vulture. Range, 25. Entity damage, 68-68-89, depending on ammunition. Attacks per minute, 130. Magazine size, 8. Clearly influenced by the Desert Eagle, the Desert Vulture is a .44 caliber semi-automatic handgun. This weapon has a good blend of range, damage, and magazine size. The .44 caliber ammunition the Desert Vulture uses gives it a better damage output than assault rifles and submachine guns. Number 2. M60. Range, 50. Entity damage, 44-44-59, depending on ammunition. Attacks per minute, 440. Magazine size, 60. The M60 machine gun has a fast rate of fire, does a lot of damage, and has a larger enough magazine that players will only have to reload between encounters not during them. In short, the M60 machine gun can mow through a horde of zombies in seconds. Once players have one of these they won't need any other weapon, unless they run out of ammunition. There are many great mods for the M60. Players should focus on mods that increase accuracy and stability, like the muzzle brake and barrel extender. These will help players make every shot count. Number 1. Auto Shotgun. Range, 5-9-2, depending on ammunition. Entity Damage, 112-96-96. Attacks per minute, 70. Magazine Size, 16. This is a terrifyingly deadly weapon that allows players to defend a narrow opening indefinitely. This weapon is almost like a cheat code. A zombie hit by a blast from the auto shotgun has a good chance of being dismembered or stunned. The magazine size for the auto shotgun isn't prohibitively small, but players will want to mod it with the drum magazine to double its magazine size. The duckbill and muzzle brake mods make this weapon better at clearing a hallway full of zombies which, with these mods, typically only takes one shot fired in the general direction of the enemy. Thanks everyone for watching. Comment down below what your favorite weapon is. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.